Hey Queens, welcome back to my channel. Just that. Okay, so one of my New Year's resolutions for 2024 was to be more active on YouTube. And it's the 11th of February and I've only done one post. And that was my 2024, end of 2023, Sunday reset. And that is literally all I've done. But this year, I want to get more active on YouTube. So this is exactly what I'm going to be doing. I feel like this would be a good video to start off with. So I'm going to be doing like a little Q&A get to know me kind of video and i did a poll question thing on instagram and you guys asked me so many questions i've got 44 here i picked out 44 which i think would be the most interesting so i'm going to answer all of these now i think it'd be better to do this on youtube instead of tiktok because i think there's more i can say on youtube instead of tiktok but i'm just going to be re-getting ready getting unready probably going to get ready again to be honest because i just love doing makeup and i love getting ready so i'm going to take off all of my old makeup okay, the first question i've picked out is favorite makeup product i'd say my favorite one i don't use it as much anymore because i fake tan my face a lot but i love my say glow super gel i've got it in the shade sun glow star glow is more of like a just goldeny tint one i've got that as well but i just prefer sun glow i think it's sun glow that's the more tanned one i just love it i think it makes me look so bronzed and tanned it makes me look summery and summer is my favorite time of the year and when i'm not tanned i'm not happy i also love my Oh, I also love my Kosas concealer. It is the only concealer I've tried out. I'm going to be real with you guys because I only started wearing concealer when I started breaking out quite a bit. But it's the only concealer I've used, but I love it so much. I've got three of them. Three. Yeah, two of them are the same shade because I got sent to by Kosas. But I just love them concealers so much. And I feel like it's like medium coverage. So it isn't full cakey, isn't light coverage, doesn't cover much. But I just love them two so much. I also really like the Rare Beauty bronzer stick. I feel like it blends out so nicely. I've tried out quite a few bronzers. I love the Charlotte Tilbury one. But I just love the Rare Beauty. I love a lot of makeup. I think anything you see me using my Gerard Muse is always, 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 always is what i love the most okay then the next one is favorite perfume okay my whole perfume tray's over there so i'm gonna go and grab it and show you all of my favorites okay um, i go for a bit of a vibe with my perfumes if you can tell i've got a whole bunch here but these are just all of my favorite ones so first these i have three of and these are the candle and oud ouds so you can i'm pretty sure these are in the westfields like stratford and white city but I've done quite a few gifted collabs with Candles and Oud. And honestly, I love their Ouds so much. I feel like they all smell so good. The first one I got is Night in Paris. And I just love this one. I feel like it's the perfect, sweet, floral kind of smell. And I'm that kind of person. Like, I don't really like strong, musky kind of smells. I just love these sweet ones. And this is my favourite one. Night in Paris is my favourite. The other two I have from Candles and Oud is the Layla one. And 50% of me did get this because it's called Layla. And the other 50% is just because it smells really good. And then Amber Oud Intense. This is the most recent one I got. I just got this a few days ago for like a little Valentine's Day gift from them. But I love these Ouds so much. There's so many different scents. So you can choose, like, depending on what kind of person you are. And they last so long. The Ouds last so long and they smell so good. Then I think we all know Sol de Janeiro. I love these two sprays. I love this one. My older cousin Anissa has the Baccarat Rouge. And it smells just like this. And I love this so much. It just lasts so well. It's got such pretty packaging. I'm a sucker for pretty packaging. Anything that's pretty pa pretty packaging has my heart and also this rio radiance i got this from duty free this is the jimmy Choo one i feel like this is a more stronger perfume this definitely isn't what i normally go for but i love this one so much it lasts so long and it smells so good and then the last one is my misty yacht i'm very stingy with this because it's very small and it's very expensive but it smells so good and also love the packaging so that is is all of my favorite perfumes don't ask for my birthdays and my birthday is the 8th of june and i'm actually born in 2011 so i'm only 12 years old and i feel like that gets a lot of people i've had so many people think that i'm like 15 and 16 but i'm 12 and i turned 13 in i think four months when when you meet up with alana and ziani where are you going Shh. I'm not allowed to say, I'm not allowed to say, I don't think I'm allowed to say, but I'm not going to say it because I want it to be a surprise, but it's going to be very, very soon and it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to vlog it all. I'm going to vlog it all for YouTube and I'm going to make loads of TikToks and get loads of pictures. I actually need to start in the getting ready process. I got sent this from Glow Recipe. It's their pink juice moisturiser. I've been loving it so much. I feel like it's so lightweight and it's so pretty. 
Someone said, what do you want to do when you're older? Honestly, I've ever since I was little, I've always wanted to be an actress. Like, I've done PQA since I was about five years old. But I did, like, acting classes before that. I've just always loved, always loved performing and being, like, on a stage, getting attention. I just think I'm a very confident person. And I love having, like, all eyes on me performing i just think it's always been something i've enjoyed doing and i just love it so much so i'd love when i'm older to be an actress if social media is a big thing around then i would like love like how i just love molly may molly may is someone i really look up to i love how she does social media so i'd love to do i'd love if social media is still a big thing and if i'm still continuing social media i've lo i'd love to continue that as well but for a job i'd just love to be an actress and that is all i want to be what made you want to start social media? I love answering this question. This is by far my favourite question to answer. So when I was starting social media, I was getting like really badly bullied in school. I don't know why I'm laughing. I laugh in awkward situations. It's, it's really bad. But I was getting really badly bullied. And I'd say this time last year is when it started getting really, really bad. Like I just started year seven there was this girl that didn't like me because of some rumours that people that was meant to be my mates made up about me and then it just it just got quite bad and then it was like when I didn't have many friends I had like three friends and that's when I started watching Amy Charlize a lot and I saw how she used to talk a lot about how she got bullied and I related to her a lot so she kind of influenced me to start doing social media and honestly it is the best thing I've ever done like I think it's one of my biggest accomplishments ever. I wish like I never got bullied or anything like that because I feel like everything happens for a reason. Now something good that happened for a reason. And I don't know why I just use this on top of moisturizer. Okay, it's fine. Okay, I'm actually gonna be using something new that I got sent from Kozis. This is their new BB Burst. It's a tinted gel cream. And I'm really excited to use this. I haven't used this yet. Someone said, what was your first day at secondary school? Like, honestly, when I joined secondary school, I had a massive group of friends, like, in primary school, I had, like, the best friend group ever, honestly, it was, like, I think it was seven of us, two boys, and, like, the rest of us were girls, and, yeah, so I went in with that friend group, apart from the boys, but I went in just with all them, and it was really nice, like, I had a big girls group, I got settled into all of my lessons, because I didn't go primary school with Natasha, We, me and Natasha have always known each other through PQA, but me and Natasha was actually in the same class, so it was just perfect, I feel like I had a really good first day experience and i don't know it was just i really enjoyed it i think it was like i was so chuffed like i had a blazer i had a tie i was wearing proper shirts like it was in a big school and it was just i don't know i just loved it i had a really good first day to be honest and also i was late to all my lessons because i just said i didn't know where i was going that's why i love when we have induction week and all the first new year sevens join because got an excuse to be late all the time someone said what was your favorite holiday slash country honestly the best place i've been is either thailand or the maldives i did used to say dubai but i just like m the more i think about it the more i just think thailand was amazing we stayed in bangkok Krabi, and phuket i think it's called but i love thai food anyone that knows me knows that thai food is my favorite food ever so i just love thailand i thought it was so fun like there was these water fights going on we stayed in three different places so i think it was really fun to see like how it's different everywhere and the maldives is just the maldives it was so nice it's so peaceful and relaxing and calm and the sunsets were amazing and the beach and the pools and everything i just loved thailand and the maldives What's your favourite subject at school? I say this all the time and I'll never stop. History. I love history so much. I feel like one main thing with me is when you've got a good teacher, when I've got a good teacher and like a nice teacher and someone who doesn't like sit there and just shout at the whole, like shout at the class the whole lesson and like they, I don't know how to explain it, but I just really love my teacher. I feel like he's such a good teacher. He doesn't like just sit there and scream at us for ages. He teaches us in a way that I understand what's going on because there's a lot of subjects I just don't really know what's going on. But and that also, that's one part why I like history. I wasn't really that big on it in year seven because I didn't really know what was going on. But I just feel like it's so interesting if you think about it, like the way things used to be, the way like old England used to be. I think it's so interesting to learn about all of that and i don't know i just love learn like it sounds weird but i love learning and it's like i don't love learning like fractions and ratios and all of that in maths but i love learning interesting things like just interesting things 
also I've just stamped my face, my beauty blender, yeah, with this Caudalie face mist. And I love this. Because Molly May uses it and Drake uses it. And I love Molly May and Drake. What subjects are you picking for GCSEs? For GCSEs, so obviously mandatory is English, Maths and Science. Uh, I don't like any of them, to be fair. But um, for optional, you need to pick between geography and history. So I'm going to do history. Even though I love ge geography, I still am going to pick history. Because I just enjoy it so much more. And for like fully optional, I'm going to do drama dance and media because i mean i just love performing i've been doing performing since i was about five for about almost eight years so i'm gonna do dance and drama and then i heard media is good for like social media and all of that and one of my mates does social media not social media she does media and it looks so fun so they're the mates for me and my school does if because i'm set one uh, my school does make you if you're in one of the top sets you have to do french but i'm not gonna do french because i can barely speak in english as it is i think you can tell from this video so there is no way I'm doing French. Where are you from? I get really confused when people ask this question because the people are like, where are you from? Essex. No, where are you from from? So my heritage is Greek, Bengali and Albanian. So I'm half Bengali and then my dad is quarter Greek and Albanian. So yeah, and then I'm from from I'm from Essex, which is in England. So yeah, I love I love Essex. I love my little Essex accent. Has anyone treated you differently now that you're a TikToker? Yes, yes. The girls mainly like a lot of the girls that were nasty to me when I first started, like when I got bullied and all of that. Definitely, I've just people switch up quite a bit. Like even girls that I didn't know, like they'd add me to group chats and they'd start on me. Now they're all hyping me up in my TikTok comments. I just feel like when like there's like people when you first start, people are gonna judge you a lot more. But when you're actually doing well with it, people are like, oh my god, well she's actually done well with it now. So I'll definitely say people have treated me a lot different since i've started doing social media and like i've gained a bit of a platform did your piercings hurt honestly this is so weird because my third piercings have been hurting so bad my helix i don't feel it at all it does not hurt whatsoever because i have seven mm. piercings. oh i have seven piercings which means i've got my first seconds and thirds on both ears and then i've got my helix my first and seconds didn't hurt at all my thirds hurt quite a bit and my helix it just doesn't really hurt apart from when i have to clean it it hurts a little bit but not really i'd say the pain is like three out of ten the third is like a seven out of ten it hurts so bad and it's always like aching it's just really itchy as well and i can't itch it but i want to itch it tips on finding the right friends slash right group i've been in so many friend groups i've been in trios i've been in quads i've been in big groups i've been in small groups i've been in duos honestly i feel like quality over quantity a lot of people want to be in a really really big group and um honestly i love being in a big group and it's no but i love being in a big healthy group but if it's like a big toxic group i do not like being in a big toxic group definitely not but but at the moment i'm in a group with about four girls and it's so sweet and genuine like before it was a group with i think there was 10 of us no <laughs> or 11 of us no it was not good whatsoever i feel like when you've got a lot of people it turns very it can become very toxic as in like like when you're in a big group you're not gonna love everyone that's in there because there's so many of you you're not gonna like anyone like not anyone you're not gonna like a lot of people in there but i feel like being in smaller groups it's just so much more content like um uh, everyone knows that my best friend scarlett like we are just two peas in a pod like most of the time it is just us and i feel like when it's just you need to find the right person for you and if it's someone that makes you feel less than you are or they like put you down they say mean things to you that clearly isn't the right person for you i feel like it does take time to find the right person for you and there was times where i was like am i ever actually gonna find a best friend that isn't gonna do me wrong gonna treat me badly anything like that but it just takes time i think and eventually you will find the person that does click with you but if you are in a toxic friend group and you're with people that don't treat you well and like they don't value you as a friend i really think that you should like as much as it like you don't want to be on your own i think it's better to be with people that are good for you look at me i'm like a little mo motivational speaker do you like not having any siblings a lot of people that are only child say they wish they had siblings 
I'm so glad I don't have any siblings. I couldn't do it. The stories my friends tell me, like, oh, yeah, my, my little sister steals all of this stuff. My little brother does this. My older brother, my older sister, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't do it. Sorry, I could not do it. I love it just being me. Like, I just, I just love it just being me. I love just, like... I just love it to be fair like I feel like it's so much less hassle I can have my own privacy like my room the only mess being created in my room is from me like I just prefer it so much more I feel like if I had a sibling I wouldn't like it because quite frankly I wouldn't have all the attention and I love having all the attention I feel like I just love it so much but I think it would be fun to have a sibling but it's not like I want a sibling I just I just like it being just me what do you do dealing with all the hate? I get, and honestly, I'm not going to sit here and say I get a lot of hate because I don't think I do get a lot of hate. Like, I have hate pages, I have nasty comments, I get nasty DMs, nasty posts, all of that. But one thing is, if you're, if you're getting hate pages, if you're getting hate, it means you're getting somewhere. It means you're getting somewhere with it and people don't like you doing well so i genuinely think you just if you are really serious about it, you just need to keep your head high and be like go away i don't need your toxic energy so i just think i'm also a very confident person i'm like i think you can tell i'm a very very confident person within myself so i don't really let things like hate and that get to me but i genuinely think you just need to ignore it as much as like i've gotten a lot of nasty messages but at the end of the day you just need to ignore it and keep doing what you want because, I mean, you're only doing it for you. You're not doing it for anyone else. So who cares what other people say? Do people at school bully you? Do people bully you at school? Not, uh, not anymore. Not anymore. I used to have it, like, in year seven. That's like, that's when it was really bad in year seven because that's when, like, I kind of first started and, like, all, like, a big group of girls didn't like me. But not really. No, not anymore. People... I don't really get any bullying anymore, but I feel like people are just a bit over that and people are a bit, like, matured from that kind of. Do you get noticed in public? I love when you guys come up to me in public. I was literally out shopping today and I had a girl come up to me and she asked for a picture. Like, I love meeting you guys. I love chatting with you all. You're all so sweet. You're all so lovely. I love, like, it's actually, it's so sweet. I had a little girl come up to me and I was in Westwood. I was in the Sephora queue and her dad was like, she follows you on TikTok. Do you think you could get a picture of her? And I was like, of course. And I just love meeting you all. You're so sweet and you're so lovely and I love you all. What style of clothes do you like? I wouldn't say I have a style. I just would say, like, I just pick out any random thing from my wardrobe. If I'm online shopping, I see something that looks cool, I'll try it on. I don't have a single style. I just I just wear whatever looks cool, to be honest. What are you planning on doing for your 13th? I don't know. The, I, the night before, it's like a tradition with me and my mum. We always go to the theatre for my birthday because I'm a little theatre kid. But I don't know when... I don't really think I want to have a party, to be fair. I just, I don't know, like, parties in my year are quite dead, to be honest, and I don't know, I just think I like just spending time with my mum, to be honest, and spending time with my family, so that's probably what I'll end up doing for my birthday. Staying out or going in? Wait, no. Going out or staying in? Go mm. I don't know. You know what, it depends where I'm going, like, and it depends if my social battery is charged or not, because, like, when I go to some parties, I actually just turn to Scarlett and I'm like, why didn't we sit at home and watch Gossip Girl? Like, it just depends on my social battery and what the going out is, if you get what I mean. I'm going to do some eyebrow gel, and I've ordered some new ones because this is empty, and I'm so sad because I love this eyebrow gel. How did you get through the bullying? Honestly, I... I'm very close with my mum. I know a lot of people don't have close relationships with their parents, but my mum and I have always had a really close relationship. So when it first started, I straight away told her and she just like monitored it, kept an eye on me. Like when then it's when it started getting bad, like I had big groups of girls coming up to me, starting on me, adding me to group chats. Then we got the school involved and as much as you might get called, oh, you're a snitch, blah, 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 blah. It's not being a snitch if it's just for your own well-being. So I think if you are getting bullied, it's always good to tell someone because otherwise it's not really going to get sorted out any other way. And even after teachers got involved, it didn't stop straight away, but eventually it does stop. But I feel like telling an adult is the most important thing you can do. What's, goal, or what's one goal you want to achieve? I think this year, the main goal I want to achieve is to hit 500k on TikTok. I think, I hope, fingers crossed, it will happen. I really hope it will happen because at the moment, I think I'm on like 370k. But I don't know, that's insane if you think about it, like three, 300, 
370,000 people follow me. I think it's so cool, but that is one goal for this year and hopefully on YouTube for me to hit 10k. I mean, I kind of need to be active for that to happen, but I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. I'm filming a video. How did you become friends with Ziani and Alana? I became friends with Ziani first. It, I remember I posted my e haul and it was like, it wasn't even a talking one. It was just a sound. And she commented saying, I love this. I love your videos. And I was like, oh my gosh. Ziani commented my video. Because at that point, I only had like 1,000 followers. And Ziani's there with like 30k. And I'm like, oh my golly gosh. But yeah, so me and Ziani just got each other snap. We started talking a little bit. We wasn't really that close at first. But then... Alana followed me. I'm not really sure when Alana followed me, to be honest. But we didn't really talk as much then until when she got banned on her account. Like, um, I already had her on Snap, but then we just got really close from that moment on, I think. And then, obviously, at the end of the event, we got even closer. And now, I like people think we're just friends whenever we go out or, like, because of social media. Genuinely, they are in my top three. I'm not even joking. They are in my top three. Like... We talk every single day. Whenever I'm walking home, straight away phoning Ziani. Me and Alana have the most random conversations ever. They are like my bestest friends. I feel like they're the most genuine girls I've ever met. Like people think we're just friends because of social media and all of that. But they are my bestest friends. They are like my sisters. Love life. I love myself. <laughs> no, I'm... Guys, I'm only 12. I'm not in a full committed relationship. No. It's just me that I love at the moment. It's just me. What other piercings do you want? One, I don't want any more this year. Definitely not any more this year. Probably maybe summer. Ow. Ow. Maybe summer next year. I really want to get either a cuff or a spider bite, which is just another helix. Because Natasha has a spider bite and it looks so cool. I love it. So, yeah, either of those. I'm not really a big fan of piercings anywhere else other than ears, to be honest. What's your biggest fear? The dark. I, I don't like the dark. I've got a nightlight that I've had since I was about five. It's a pink star nightlight and it stays on and it's pink. I have a massive fear of the dark. I just can't do it. And although I am like a summer ocean girl, I have a really big fear of the ocean. Like the dark blue ocean. Like I love when like I'm on boats and I can see all dolphins and things like that. But if it's, if it's just like deep, deep ocean, I can't do it. I have a lot of fears, but then I don't at the same time. Like, although I have a lot of fears, I think I'm more of a YOLO person. Like, I will. It's fine. You only live once. Any celebs you've met? This is my biggest flex. I was in a Harry Styles music video. You can look it up. Harry Styles music video Kiwi. I think it was in 2018. Because I'm, like, I've been with an ag agency since I was, like, I don't know how old I was. But I've been with an agency for loads of years. So I was in a Harry Styles music video. Oh, my golly gosh. I met Harry Styles, like... Then I was six, I wasn't, no wait, seven, I was seven, I wasn't like, oh, like, my mum was just like, yeah, you're gonna be in a Harry Styles music video, I was like, oh, like, I didn't even know who Harry Styles was, I just knew One Direction, I didn't know any of their names, but now when I look back at it and think about it, like, I was at his concert around my birthday, like a few days after my birthday, and it's insane if you think about it, like, I met Harry Styles I didn't even know who he was and I met him. But yeah, that was that was just so cool. That's such a cool experience. Favourite musical? I've watched loads of musicals. I've watched tons of them. If it's like musicals in the theatre, I don't know to be honest. I really enjoyed Grease and The Lion King. And I don't know. I just love going to the theatre to be honest. And Matilda. Matilda was really, really good. For or like on TV greece honestly i just i don't know i just watch anything to be fair like this is a confusing question next one please x i'm not a good person to ask about x because i get the ick from anything literally like if you eat with your mouth open ick no i get the ick from everything it's so bad how did you build confidence to do get ready me's on TikTok? I've always been a very, very confident person. So it wasn't anything like I was nervous to start. Quite frankly, I was getting ready for like, I don't, I think it, I don't know what I was getting ready for, to be honest. Like I did sound ones, but I needed like, like free sound ones. But then like, I just did a talking one one morning. I think it was a school get ready me. It was on the phone to my best mate at that time. And I just posted it. I wasn't really that nervous about what would happen. I didn't think it'd get anywhere, to be honest. I just, oh. I just thought it'd be a bit of a laugh and, like, something entertaining to do. But, yeah. I just... I've never been much of an... 
I'm going on do not disturb. I've never been much of an unconfident person. I think that's the word, unconfident. I've just always been very confident. So it wasn't much like I had to build up the confidence to do it. What age were you when you started YouTube and social media as a whole? I downloaded TikTok when I was about eight or seven. I don't know. Now, I had it when it was musically. I vividly remember I had 50 followers. I was around my aunt's house. I had 50 followers. My account got banned. I was shocked. Layla, you was about seven. I was screaming. I screamed the house down because I lost my 50 followers. I had a tantrum, full on blown tantrum. I've always wanted to do YouTube. Like, I always used to do it with my best friend when I was little. Like, we'd do like slime videos and all of that. I've privated all those videos now. But if you check this account, I think you can see I've had it since 2013. I was two. Well, I didn't start making videos when I was two, guys. But, yeah, I've just always wanted to do it. Like, when I was when I was little, like, I would do, like, those dancing videos. I'm going to put some on the screen last, la, la, right right now. Because last night I was going through my camera roll. And I looked at all of them. The second-hand embarrassment I got from looking at all of that. Do you want a pet? I really want a pet cat. And my mum won't let me get a cat because she's terrified of cats. But they're so cute. Like, when I go on holidays, I don't care where that cat's been. I don't care how many diseases that cat has. Cats are such cute animals, especially the fat cats. I love, like, them really chubby cats that just can't move. Or, like, tiny little kittens. I love cats so much. They're the cutest things ever. I was meant to get a goldfish. I don't know where that goldfish is. I've got a tank. I've got all decorations for the tank. No goldfish. Do you know what you want to name your children? I think main a main part of girlhood is having a notes folder filled with baby names. It's just girlhood, to be honest. Okay, I think I'm going to end it at this one. The last one is book recommendations. I think some of my favourite books I've read is Girl in Pieces. I feel like it depends. Like, I know a lot of people that have read Girl in Pieces and they don't really like it. I love Girl in Pieces. It's one of my favourite books ever. The Summer I Turned Pretty. The book is so much better than the series, I think. I think it's so much better than the series. And at the moment, I'm reading Firefly Lane and I just love it so much. I feel like like I was actually heartbroken on so many of the chapters. I still need to finish that, then I'll give you all my little honest opinion. But I think that's all the questions I'm gonna do. I've gone like through like 40 questions. I'm gonna need to edit this video down a bit, but I hope you've all got to know me quite a lot and you think I'm quite an interesting person. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. But I hope you all enjoyed this video and there will be more coming soon. So yeah, bye. Oh my eye.